Nelson over the shoulder, catch his name. He's gone to the house, wow. leaping ground. Oh my goodness. Arm raised kid from Kansas, originally a walk on safety. He took it away from Orlando Skandrick. Nelson with those strong hands. Joel So I grew up in rural Kansas, went to a small 3A school here, so I had graduated with like 70 kids in our graduating class. Grew up on a farm, I credit a lot of my work ethic through all sports and everything that I do. I think from farming, it, it taught me a lot about responsibility, a lot about working hard, depending on one another as a family. Jordy Nelson for the touchdown. Knowing that you had to do everything to the best of your ability because people were relying on you, definitely translated over to sports. Jordy Nelson again. He slipped away again. I decided to walk on at Kansas State. The guy who gave me the thought or the, the dream that it was possible was a guy named John McGraw. He was about five, six years older than myself. Went to Riley County High School, same high school I went to. Walked on at K-State, ended up earning a scholarship, became a captain, got drafted by the Jets on the third round. So he kind of paved the way and gave us the idea that it was possible. I walked on as a safety, but then after two seasons at K-State, they switched me over to a receiver and had an incredible senior year. And as they say, the rest is history. How about Jordy Nelson out of Kansas State? A, a 4-4-9 unofficially. This guy had 122 receptions. 122. Unbelievable production. Leading up to the draft, talking to my agent, we were just waiting to see. We had no idea. And obviously, it only takes one team to like you. Sitting there at my mom's restaurant here in Lunarville, Kansas, uh, watching it all with a bunch of family and friends. When my phone rang, the draft was actually in a commercial break. I didn't even see my name get announced. It just came across the bottom of the screen. And not, that everybody around here is going, who's that? This kid is really fun. He's still raw, but at the senior bowl, he woke everybody up. A week later, you're flying up there for mini camp and then OTAs, and you kind of sit back and then understand the organization you're going to, the history that it had. I think the year before they lost in the NFC Championship game, so a very good team. I've always wanted to be a Packer. I think I always will be a Packer. I did then obviously understand that they're going through the transition between Brett Favre to Aaron Rodgers. It's been a difficult situation for all parties involved. There was a lot going on, but obviously extremely excited and look forward to going to Green Bay and understanding for my wife and I, it was gonna be a great situation for us to move to. Uh, Green Bay, Wisconsin is obviously very similar to rural Kansas, and we weren't going to some huge big market that we'd be overwhelmed not only by the adjustment into the NFL, but also a huge city that would maybe put us a little bit more out of our comfort zone. We had Donald Driver, James Jones, Greg Jennings, Bill Martin, all veteran guys that had been there. So I'm just trying to be a sponge and soak in as much as possible because I'd only played receiver for three years of my life. In high school, I played quarterback, and now I'm at the top level at it. And so I'm trying to absorb and learn as much as possible, not only from my receivers, but also from Aaron. Let's have some fun tonight, right? Let's make some plays, do a little dance, score a lot of points. Let's go score on three. One, two, three, score! When you first get in the NFL, I think for any kid, uh, no matter what round you're drafted in or what position you play, the opportunity to get on the field is most important. If it's offensive, defense, or if it's on any sort of special teams, because that allows you obviously a chance to feel the speed of the game, but allows you to make a play. And then um, once you make a play, the coaches see that and start giving you more opportunities, even if it's just blocking or if it's uh, returning kicks. But for me, I was able to return some punts, return some kickoff. You know, it's something that I took a lot of pride in. That was a way for me to get on the field, hopefully set our offense up in some good field position and get the momentum going. Has some space across the 40, up past midfield, and he gets dragged down. A return of 44 yards on the play for the rookie out of Kansas State. If someone asks me the question what my first touchdown is, it doesn't take me but you know half a second to think of it, and I can envision it right now. We actually broke the huddle, and I had to double check with Donald in the slot on my side that it was a sluggo and not just a slant. Would hate to screw that one up. Confirmed that with him, and then ran the slant and go. Pretty much wide open, pretty easy one, and honestly, a nice one to get in the book. Into the corner, touchdown Green Bay! Jordy Nelson! It's pretty early in the season, too. I think it was only the first couple weeks. Not only a dream to play in the NFL, but to, to get that touchdown and be able to have that ball forever and pass that down to my kids eventually is something very unique and special. Got some more opportunities, and then things just started to snowball a little bit. Here's Rodgers looking for his rookie touchdown! Jordy 
Three. We started out in the wild card round against Philly, and I don't even know if I caught a ball. And then Atlanta, everyone on our offense had a heck of a game. Aaron played a ridiculous game offensively. I think we were about as perfect as you could you could be in that game. And it carried over into Chicago, and just were able to make some big plays, get some opportunities in the Super Bowl. The Green Bay Packers' late season surge has put them one victory away from yet another world title. Free game was a little crazy. I mean, there's a lot of hoopla going on, a lot, a lot of things going on, but you try to stay as much to your routine as possible. But once the, the, the ball gets kicked off, I know everyone says it and people probably don't believe it, but, it, but it's just football. Things happen too fast for you to understand to truly understand to me the moment or what's going on. Like you're, you're play to play. You have 10, 15 seconds in between plays to reset and go on to the next one. And now driver limps off. Unfortunately, Donald was down with an ankle sprain early in the game, and that took me from playing maybe 10 to 20 plays to pretty much playing the whole game. And that's why you got to be prepared. That's why, you know, I knew every position because no matter which one needed a break or which one happened to get injured, I was going to be able to go in and play all those positions. And if it's one ball or if it's nine catches and playing a whole game in the Super Bowl and making memories that way, you got to be prepared to go do it. So my first touchdown in the Super Bowl was our second possession. We're, we're having a good drive, we're on the ball, maintaining possession, and then we actually call a screen play. We break the huddle, line up. Come on, Jordan, come on, baby. So my role to begin with is just the outside release and run my guy off down the field so we can run a screen to my side. As I line up, I'm looking in at the ball. Aaron looks out at me and taps his helmet which gives me the sign, run to win, and expect the ball to be thrown. We talked about it throughout the week about matchups out there and which ones he felt comfortable with, and he wanted to take advantage of them when we had those chances. So he let it go. I was able to get on top of the, the DB, come down with it in the end zone. Jordy Nelson, touchdown, Green Bay. The dream come true to be able to catch a touchdown in the Super Bowl, because the funny thing is, earlier in the year, I missed that exact same signal in a home game. I stopped on the route and he threw the go ball. We'll just say I learned my lesson from there and was not going to let it happen again. The Green Bay Packers are world champions! Here's the snap. Rodgers looking left, looks the middle, throws the right, diving left, touchdown, Johnny Nelson! Going into 2011 after we won the Super Bowl, if our confidence was sky high. We had a lot of the guys back. The chemistry on offense was great. It was one of the most incredible years I was ever a part of. Went 15 to one, set all the offensive records for Green Bay. Just the, the amount of guys that we had at receiver. We could go four or five receivers deep. We just created so many mismatches. And it's caught for a touchdown. Man, they make it look easy. It has simply been a monster year, and the combination of those two record breaking numbers. Spins, takes the handoff this time, throws it over the middle. Get Nelson! He's to the 35 40. Running after the catch was something we took a lot of pride in in our room because, again, it goes back to making the most of your opportunity, and that's one thing you can't control. You can't control if the ball is thrown to you or not, but you can control the way you run your route, and you can control what, what you do after you catch the ball. For as many guys as we had in our receiver room, and had the opportunities to score touchdowns were slim because it could go to the next guy the next play. So when you had that ball in your hand, you wanted to get into the end zone as fast as possible, and the urgency was there. Uh, you didn't want to be taken down by one guy, not only you hear it in the meeting room then on uh, following Monday during film study, but you, you wanted to score because if you didn't, and if you got inside the 10 and didn't score, your chances of scoring just went down even more because there's four other guys that could score the touchdown and there's no guarantee it's coming back to you. To me with Aaron, what separates him from the others is the mental part of the game. I don't know if it's photographic memory. He can see things coming from a mile away. He can remember it from years past or film study that week understanding what the front is, which means the backers are going to do this, which means the safeties are going to do that, and allows us to get into a, a successful play if it's a check at the line of scrimmage. I think that's where he separated himself, and then that was always my challenge to myself and how he always challenged everyone in the room was to try to get on that level, to understand the game the way he understood it, to be able to see the defense the way he saw it, because it allows you to play that much faster, allows you to anticipate the check, it allows you to anticipate the change in your route based off the coverage that's about ready to come because they're trying to disguise it. Pump fakes again, throws late left side, end yes. zone, seven grand, touchdown! Yes. Jordy Nelson! He's a smart, smart player. He was basically pointing me where to throw the football. 
when you're able to be able to think that quick and execute and be on the same page, it allowed us to kind of separate ourselves as a duo and be very successful as an offense. My favorite route probably to score on was full boot action, mainly to the right. We had full protection, only two guys out in the route. I would inside release and run a nod post to the far hash. Uh, the backside receiver would usually run either a deep dig or an over route. So you'd inside release the corner, get head up on that safety, nod him to the corner, and he would open his hips. And the moment he opened his hips, I, I knew it was ball game. We were on and Aaron would, would let it rip all the way across the field and you'd go down and you'd run it down and score. Safety help over the top, very late. non-existent. Yeah, I mean, too late to do anything about it. Monday didn't come into the picture until Jordy was basically backpedaling into the end zone. I don't know what our percentage on that play was. It had to be in the high 90s. We connected on that so many times through our career. This is the one play that you see him run. I've seen it about five times. I think he's thrown four of them for touchdowns. The more weapons you have out on the field, it allows it to be easier for everyone. When we go into games, with our receiving form with Aaron at quarterback, I don't think there was ever a week we went into a game like, oh boy, I hope we run the ball 45 times and throw it 10. Like we, we knew that we had the confidence to go out and make plays. Down the sideline, has his man, Jordy Nelson. Nelson on his way. 80 yards and the touchdown. So in 2014, I think we were just in rhythm. They're gonna go for Nelson again and he wins it. With Randall out there playing in the slot, occupying the middle, attracting the safeties allowed us to open up on the outside. And then once the safeties started creeping outside, Randall would go to work on the inside. So it was a great combination and great chemistry that we had out there. We both had over 1,200 yards and double digit touchdowns. And I believe the first duo in NFL history to do that is something I take a lot of pride in. When you start saying first time in NFL history, you know you did something special. And to be able to do it with Randall, who's a great guy and great friend, it was, it was a lot of fun. Rodgers pulls it back, has Nelson. Nelson with a catch. Another acrobatic sideline catch by Jordy Nelson. So for me on the sideline catches, it was having a feel for where you are on the field and then let your feet be and focus on catching. I think the number one thing you got to do is focus on catching the ball because a lot of guys will get distracted by getting their feet in and lose focus on the ball. And obviously if you don't catch the ball, it doesn't matter where your feet are. And then kind of let my legs and feet kind of just go straight out, go kind of go limp and let them fall in, into place. Or we had a great one against San Francisco on the sideline. And that one, I planted my feet on the sideline and kind of just tried to time it up and fall out of bounds and reach as far as possible. So it was something we did work on in practice. Some of it was what we did on scramble drill every day. I'd go over with the quarterbacks or even in offensive drills. We'd always finish every play so you get those, that experience on the sideline and knowing where you're at. And it just kind of became a feel thing. The ball landed over top of the pylon, so he had to keep his feet. It was it looks sweet. I mean, that is like, woo! You can't do nothing but just smile when you see that. Breeze with an end zone shot, a beautiful catch. Going into 2015, I was super excited. Coming off my Pro Bowl season, setting the record for single season uh, receiving yards for the Packers and a lot of expectations and high hopes going into that following year. Hey, make plays, boss. Second preseason game at Pittsburgh, caught a basic route. Just I might have even been like a 10 yard or eight yard stop route. Jumped up to catch the ball. On my way down, I wanted to get into my move to avoid the DB. Landed awkwardly, not even awkwardly, just to me landed and twisted at the wrong time and uh, ended up tearing my ACL. Still watching the film, don't know how it happened. Didn't know it until they took me into the locker room. I was able to jog out the field. Honestly, if it had been a regular season game, I probably would have just jogged right back to the huddle. But then uh, once we went in the locker room and Doc told me that I tore my ACL, obviously you know your season's done for. It was tough, especially like I said, what I had, what I'd just done the year prior. Um, I felt like I was definitely in the prime of my career. And Aaron and I were doing some great things and was looking forward to another season of it. So it set me back. It was very emotional and uh, disappointing because I was looking forward to another great year. Time for Rodgers. There's Nelson. Welcome back, Jordy Nelson. Unbelievable. My 100% focus that year after I tore my ACL was to get my ACL, my knee back right, so I can go out and perform the following year. And Nelson to the end zone, and that is a touchdown. What a route by Jordy Nelson. I didn't know what the following 2016 was going to bring. I didn't know if I was going to be able to play at the level I was the year before. 
supplies and I'd have a huge drop off how long it would take to get back. But I knew if I put in the work and time throughout the rehab process, I wouldn't have any regrets through it. I knew I'd put in the time, I'd put in the effort. And if I had lost a step and wasn't as good, then so be it. But to come out in 2016 and have a great year, lead the league in touchdowns, win comeback player of the year. Jordan Nelson, you are my bees. I don't know that anybody fully understood the impact of Jordy Nelson to Aaron Rodgers and this offense, but since he has returned, it is like they have awakened. It's one of the most proud things I did throughout my career was to be able to come back to that. Looking back on my career, I enjoyed every moment of it. The good, the bad, the roller coaster ride, made a lot of friends, a lot of memories. And just playing every Sunday with, with, with my friends that we were able to, the relationships we created in those locker rooms that will last for a lifetime. And those relationships, I think, will be the most, most things that we take from everything. And then watching uh, everyone else continue to play and seeing what their families grow into and seeing what our kids do.